nation calls, the folks here at Fort Hood need to be able to go on a moment's notice. And uh, it's not an exaggeration to say uh, without electricity, you just can't do that. In Colleen, Texas, the military is ensuring the lights are always on at Fort Hood, the largest active duty armored U.S. military base in the world. On a warm June morning, dozens gathered to commemorate the historic start of operations for Phantom Solar and Cotton Plains Wind, both projects developed for the Army by Apex Clean Energy. This is the largest renewable energy project for the Army uh, to date. It's also the Army's first hybrid wind and solar facility, a combination well suited to Fort Hood. This is Texas and the sun is always shining and the wind is always blowing. Phantom Solar, located on base at Fort Hood, generates 15 megawatts of clean energy. A few hours away in Floyd County, 21 turbines at Cotton Plains Wind supply 50 megawatts. This is part of an Army effort to make our installations more energy resilient. Energy is something we all too often take for granted in this country, and we don't appreciate the benefits or the potential vulnerabilities of our energy grid. Those grid vulnerabilities meant Fort Hood could lose power just like the rest of us, but with more dire consequences. Now, that's all changed. You have this thing called a microgrid, and it enables the solar array, in this case, uh, to be able to be taken offline from the rest of the grid to operate completely independently and supply the power necessary for the, uh, in this case, Fort Hood. With a national conversation growing around renewable energy, the Army is taking a leadership role. Five years ago, we weren't capable of doing a project this large or this complex. All that work is now paying off, literally. For this year, you know, we know for sure we're going to save a million and a half off of our electricity bill. The solar and wind farms are actually the Department of Defense's largest cost avoidance project, saving taxpayers an estimated $168 million over the life of the facilities. The electricity costs of the base are significant, and the more that they pay, the less that they, they can use for, for training and for uh, personnel and for equipment. Mark Goodwin, Apex's president and chief executive officer, understands the military's priorities firsthand after serving nine years as a pilot in the Navy. Renewable energy, clean energy, uh, like Phantom and Cotton Plains, are a big part of the energy future for the DOD and, and for the country, and this is a, a genuine leadership that's being shown. At Fort Hood, Kat Strumoff, Accelerate TV.